how to create a multi vendor e commerce website on WordPress. Hi, guys, welcome back to another video. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can create a multi vendor website on WordPress. So, having said that, let's just jump into the video. So, before we begin, you're going to need a couple of things. First, you're going to find a hosting for WordPress. And then, when you get the hosting, you're going to install WordPress on it. When you get installed the WordPress, we can move on. So, if you are wondering where you can get a hosting, well, you can get free hosting on this website called cloudways.com. It's absolutely free, and you can get a pretty decent hosting for your WordPress website as well. So, it's really simple. Just simply come over here simply click on get started and it will begin the process and over here this is the sign up page once you click on get started you're going to come over here and over here you're just simply going to enter in your first name your last name your email address your password and then describe what you want and just agree to the terms and services and click on get started so i'm going to go ahead and sign up and i'll catch you guys in a little bit and once you have logged in this is how it's going to look like over here they're going to give you a free trial as you can see for now my trial has expired and after that you will have to you know upgrade your account to get paid membership but i'm just showing you how it looks like so over here you will have a bunch of different servers that you can choose from and once you have installed you can go ahead and quickly sign into your dashboard over here and this is how it looks like now i have a bunch of plugins installed so don't worry about that it's all a bit jumbled up but for you it might be different it might be clean so once you've got your hosting you've installed wordpress we can move on to the next step which is installing a few essential plugins and uh, let me just show you which plugins are those so if i come over here on the left side and i simply click on add new plugins it's going to take me over to the plugin store over here we're just simply going to search for uh, astra and once we search for it this plugin will pop up which is called starter template so we're just simply going to install that one we're simply going to install another plugin called elementor website builder so let me just update this it requires updating and once we install that we can even install the essential add-ons plugins for elementor and once that is done we are good to go now what we can do next is we can come over here on the left side and over here you will find a option called appearances over here as you can see right above plugins and in appearance what you're going to do is you're going to simply click on starter templates that we just installed we're going to click on starter templates and it's going to take us to the template store where we can see a bunch of different templates some of these templates are premium meaning they are paid templates but most of these are free so what we're here to do is we're here to create a e-commerce store so what we're going to do is we're going to scroll up we're going to see the e-commerce over here and what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and click on online shop clothing store anything you want you will find it over here and over here let me just search for a online clothing store right so we have a bunch of different options over here and over here let me just choose this one right here and once you click on a template it's going to take you over to this part of the website where you just simply have to upload your logo and simply upload your logo if you want to it will take you over to the media library where you have a bunch of different images and you can upload the logo so for me i'm going to upload this logo right here and i'm going to simply select it and click on select my logo is over here you can even increase the length and height and width of it as well so i'm going to keep it like that and then just simply click on continue then you have the theme the default colors of the store and over here as you can see it's pretty nice it looks really really good once you click on a certain color it will change the overall look of the store you can choose whichever one you want something that fits your you know website or more so i'm just simply going to choose this blue one and then you have your fonts as well so you can just simply choose whichever font you want so as you can see if i just simply click on the fonts the fonts automatically change and we are good to go so Gonna choose this font right here and just simply click on continue and then just simply click on submit and build my website and then just simply wait for a couple of minutes or seconds it takes seconds and once it's done your website will be installed right now it's downloading and installing required themes plugins font and etc so just wait so i'm going to go ahead and pause this video right here i'll catch you guys in a second and boom as you can see our website has been installed we it is ready took 1.23 minutes so let's go ahead and click on visit your website to see how it looks like and over here as you can see this is the website this is how it looks like it's really nice it's really cool and really really good so now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and edit this website with elementor to make it our own so just simply scroll over here and click on edit with elementor and you can go ahead and start editing your website 
and once it's loaded up this is how it looks like and over here on the left side you will have a bunch of tools that you can use so you have a bunch of different tools and then you have these tools right here underneath but these are like pro tools so you can't really use them you will need to buy uh, elementor pro to use those tools but it's really simple if you want to edit a certain section or a certain paragraph or whatever just hover your mouse over it and uh, that section will be highlighted and you can go ahead and start editing it so for example if i wanted to edit this section over here as you can see i have three options I have the delete section i have edit section and i have add section so if i just simply click on edit section the editor will load up over here and i can go ahead and edit the style the advanced setting the layout everything is in my control i can go ahead and start editing it and if i wanted to like change the background for this one i just simply click on edit this section go into style and over here i can change the image over here I have the color i have the background type as well right now it's classic gradient video slideshow you can do all of that you have your background overlay as well so this is the color you can go ahead and like remove that as well you can darken it whatever you want so i actually like a little bit dark color so i'm going to choose that boom there you go so it's really nice it's really really good and once you have edited you can go ahead and exit to the dashboard over here just simply click on exit changes but before you do that you have to update any changes you've made keep remember guys if you don't do that for example you've made a change but suddenly your pc shuts down or you know you lost your internet connection or you know some other problems that might have occurred then the changes you've made wouldn't have been saved so remember keep updating it and once you've done that just simply click on exit to dashboard and we can begin to the next part of this video so next what we want to do is we want to install another plugin so we're going to go back into the plugin store and we're going to click on add new and over here we're going to search for vendor over here we have a bunch of different plugins over here but the plugin that we're interested in is called docan it's one of the best ones out there so as you can see 70 plus thousand installations active installations it is compatible with my version of wordpress so i'm just simply going to go ahead and click on install wait for a couple of seconds for it to be installed and once it's installed we can go ahead and click on activate to activate the plugin itself now what that basically has done so over here on the left side as you can see we will have docan over here and you will have your dashboard you will have your withdraw options vendor modules pro features and stuff like that so let's go ahead and click on the dashboard for our website and over here this is the dashboard right here maybe later let's close that up so this is how it looks like so this is the dashboard over here you will see all of your sales your revenue your vendors your withdrawals your products and stuff like that now let's go ahead and add a vendor for our you know website so this is basically how we're going to do it so we're going to go over here in docan we're going to click on vendors and this is going to allow us to add different vendors so over here if you already have a list of vendors that you wanted to add then you can go ahead and you know upload them as well but if you don't have one we can add one ourselves by clicking on the add button over here and over here it's really really simple you enter in the vendor picture you upload their banner you enter in their first name your last name the store name the store you are on their phone number you know their website their username and you can even generate a password for them so that they can log into wordpress and stealth then just simply click on next that way you will have your vendor so as you can see i already have added that so let me just go ahead and edit this out real quick this is basically my email address so we're gonna leave that and next what we can do is we can activate their status so their status is activated so they're you know activated and they have started selling you know enabled so they can start selling their products on our website that way as well so it's really simple it's really easy over here you will have your date for registration and stuff like that it's really really nice it's really really cool next thing what we can do is we can also add different modules as well so if you wanted to have a modules for your website such as all of these like color schemes live chat paypal store reviews and stuff like that then you can go ahead and add them as well it's really simple and then you have the withdraw features over here so basically uh whenever your vendor you know makes a request for a withdrawal your request will pop up over here and then you can decide what to do with it to approve it to delay it to cancel it to do whatever you want so it's really really simple and once you have installed docan it's really simple and also another thing that i forgot to mention to actually use docan you're gonna need to have woocommerce installed over it so this right here 
basically what WooCommerce is. It's basically what allows your website to work. This is basically the website we're going to be using. Uh, Dokkan is just an add-on for WooCommerce so that you can add vendors and they can sell on your WooCommerce website. So be sure to install that as well. The process is going to be very, very simple. Just go into plugins, click on add new and search for WooCommerce and install it. And that's basically it. So that's how you basically make a multi-vendor website on WordPress. And I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. I kept it very really simple for you guys, not too difficult, really, really simple stuff so that you guys can understand. And everything else basically is your own personalizations. If you wanted to do whatever you want, you know, your own products, your own website and stuff like that. It's really simple. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you have any questions, let me know in the comment sections down below and I'll be sure to answer them as soon as possible. So having said that, I will catch you guys in the next video. And until then, take care and goodbye.